So a bit morning everyone. It looks like it's going to be another one of those dark days. But at least it's uh, not uh, raining or very windy. So here's my Batavas touring bicycle again. And I think it's time uh, that I started doing some work on it. As you might know from a previous video, this uh, bicycle has some brake issues. It also has a, a problem with the uh, front fork. Whenever I hit the... Um, feels like it's starting to rain. Whenever I hit the uh, brakes, um, it feels like the fork is bending backwards. And I already checked the, uh, the headset and I didn't find any uh, problem there. Just a bunch of uh, dried up grease. But when I use the brakes and I move the bicycle forwards and backwards, it feels like there is some, something loose. There is some movement that I cannot really pinpoint. It might be in the uh, top of the fork. Something might be loose, a weld or something. I already checked the uh, crown and there's no play on, on it. So, in this video I'm going to uh, replace the front fork with the one that I got from the Altra bicycle that I scrapped and that will also uh, take care of, hopefully, also take care of that uh, brake issue. Let's uh, move this shit show inside where uh, we won't get caught out by any rain. Well, just after I moved the bicycle inside, it started to uh, drizzle again, like it has been doing most of the week. So this here is uh, uh, the front fork from the Altra bicycle. Well, I think this is going to work. It's basically the same size, so I don't think uh, this fork will change the geometry of the bicycle a whole lot. And the uh, headset tube also looks like uh, the same size. And as you can see, I kept the uh, front wheel from the uh, Altra bicycle. So that uh, should make swapping out uh, this fork a little bit easier. It also has the same uh, Sax uh, front hub. As you can see this wheel does have a rather skinny 28mm tire. Um, I definitely prefer my tires a bit uh, loftier. But yeah this is a uh, front wheel and only a test setup so it'll be fine. It still holds air, that's uh, more important. Unfortunately I cannot start using this uh, nice aluminium handlebar that came from the Altra bicycle. Because the Batavas has some sort of a strapless setup for uh, uh, the uh, brake grips and uh, the shifter and also the bell. The bell by the way is a, a terrible design. It has some sort of uh, well difficult to reach clitoris it's awkward to use, so I installed uh, this uh, little thingy. Sounds terrible, but it does do the job. For some reason I always struggle with uh, Allen head bolts. And this one is no exception. Because it has some damage and uh, my Allen head uh, key keeps uh, making it worse. So this uh, bolt will definitely have to be replaced. Yeah, I think it's moving. Bit by bit. Yeah. Always the same struggle with these things. All right. I need my hammer. And now I should be able to take out 
the handle but I was going to say wheel and I would like to replace this with uh, something a bit longer well I found something longer bigger and also a whole lot uglier with some uh, frozen up Allen head bolts just my luck I guess I also have to swap out the uh, handlebar because uh, the other one has those uh, strapless uh, brake levers and also a integrated uh, shifting mechanism not sure how difficult uh, that will be great more Allen heads just my luck I guess this brake lever uh, bolts straight into the handlebar I guess there must be a hole with some thread in here how else would this uh, work so I took this handlebar and stem to the vise and I was able to uh, loosen everything up so looks like I am going to uh, use this uh, stem although I should clean up the aluminium a bit but I will do that later because that is a well boring video um, I took this uh, stem from a uh, pointer uh, a pointer arena bicycle that I recently scrapped a video about that is uh, coming soon I just loosened up this brake cable to gain access to the Allen head bolt and that's in the uh, brake lever and I just noticed that there's a difference between the uh, front hubs this one says Sachs VT5000 and the other one from the Altra bicycle says Sachs Orbit VT eh what's in a the name they look the same and should be uh, swappable well I was getting ready to take out this Allen head bolt and then uh, remove this uh, grip which would be a terrible struggle but I just found out that uh, the stem that I took from the pointer bicycle has uh, two bolts so I do not have to uh, push the uh, handlebar uh, through this stem from the side so no need to take off the handlebars the shifter or uh, those damn grips but I am going to uh, loosen this up because I'm curious how this uh, all bolts together there it is look at that long bolt a rather large hole and I think there's another piece inside the handlebar with the thread but it doesn't look like it is movable this bolt by the way is also bent a little bit odd well I will uh, put everything back together and then uh, I can move the uh, handlebar I must say that I'm not overly impressed with this uh, strapless design and there's probably a reason why this never caught on because it's the first time that I see this and I guess it's hard with this uh, setup to uh, swap things out all right let's uh, replace this uh, fork because the weather has changed and the sun started shining so I want to take this bicycle out for a uh, test ride I think a bicycle without a uh, handlebar is a headless bicycle and it looks odd and I will have to uh, reuse the uh, uh, ball cages uh, with the uh, steel ball bearings because I lost a few uh, from the ones in the uh, ultra bicycle okay everything is loose now let's swap out this fork complete with wheel in one smooth operation just like a pro would do it
Damn it. I had to step away for a moment to clean off my uh, greasy hands. I think this might be working. I already cleaned out these uh, uh, ball bearings or these uh, cages with balls last month. But a little extra rust prevention is probably, uh, well, it shouldn't hurt. Make it all nice and smooth. Let's close up the patient. I don't think it will be a problem if I reuse this uh, ball race from the Batavas bicycle. It is not the same as uh, the one from the Altra, but it is, uh, well, it looks very close. Maybe a little bit too much rust prevention. The yeah, lock washer. Hmm, there is not a whole lot of thread left. Maybe I should try the uh, the uh, part from the ultra bicycle. It might be a little bit lower. Here's the ball race from the ultra bicycle, and it is definitely lower than the one from the Batavis. And of course, I got greasy fingers. Why is it threading on so poorly? It's not at an angle, it's just difficult. I guess you could use a special tool in here. I don't have that special tool, but I might uh, try some needle nose uh, pliers. And this is difficult. Yeah, this sucks. I'm not going to do this on camera. So for some reason, the uh, second time I tried this on, it all went without uh, problems. Here's that lock, and as you can see, there is now more than enough thread left. This is the uh, piece from the Batavas, and it is a lot higher than this piece from the Ultra Bicycle. So I'm going to use the piece from the Ultra Bicycle. And there's an annoying pigeon outside. I don't know if you can hear it on camera. But if it keeps uh, making noises like that, I'm going to get my pellet gun. Bastard, shut up. If it isn't chickens, it's pigeons. It feels good. Not sure if it is good, but before I can find that out, I will have to install a uh, handlebar. Here's the stem that I got from the pointer bicycle, and it is difficult. Come on, move down a bit more. Uh, I think that's okay. If not, I will have to make uh, readjustments later. For a moment I thought it would be easy to install this handlebar uh, using this pointer stem that has uh, two bolts. But I cannot install this handlebar before I remove the uh, strapless levers. Those annoying stupid strapless shit. Man, I hate those things because now I need to take off the grips and they feel oh, terribly tight. They are fine grips by the way. I like these thicker grips. You know, old bicycles had these uh, thin grips. They were hardly thicker than the handlebar and 
yeah, I really don't, don't like those. These uh, are from Frederstein and they are great. But now I need to remove them. And that will be cursing and frustration and yeah, it won't be pretty. Luckily, I only have to remove one side. Well, I got it done and it wasn't uh, too bad. There was not a whole lot of cursing. As soon as I uh, stuck the uh, grip in the vise, I was able to pinch it and uh, then there was some play between the handlebar and the grip and I was able to squirt in some uh, some silicone spray and that made it easy to remove the grip. It actually was harder to uh, remove the old stem because there was some aluminium uh, corrosion on here. So that was stuck. But still I stick with the uh, with the theory that strapless uh, strapless levers are the work of the devil. And now I need to reinstall those uh, devilish things. Well, I managed to reinstall this strapless lever. Yeah, it is what it is. And now I'm working on the uh, cables. By the way, have you ever seen uh, such a lubrication point in line in the uh, cable? It's a first for me. I think it's kind of neat. So I just ran into a problem. This is not going to fit on here. Uh, the other one had two sides and this piece would uh, sit in between. Lucky for me, I've been hoarding some bicycle parts and this is the original setup from the Altra bicycle. And this uh, fits. I'm not sure if the other side will fit into that devilish strapless uh, brake lever. But uh, I will find out. Well this is not going to fit because these uh, two cable ends are just too different. This is uh, Altra, this is Batavus. And I've tried this one but it just rolls out of the uh, brake lever when you uh, apply some uh, brake pressure. So it's not safe. It might work if I uh, grind this uh, a little bit so it will fit inside the uh, brake lever. Another option would be um, to cut off the end from this uh, Batavus uh, brake lever so I can bolt on this piece onto that cable. I'm not sure if these uh, cables are any anything special. I think they might be. So I'm choosing for option number one. Modify uh, this end a little bit. It's amazing how much problems you can solve with an angle grinder. After a bit of grinding it looks like this. And I'm not sure how safe this will be. But it does seem to work. It is not coming out. And I have looked into replacing this uh, aluminium piece with the uh, original plastic piece. But that is not possible with, uh, without destroying the original cable. Well I tried but this setup is not going to work. The cable is too short and that uh, modified cable end, well it just came loose when I applied a little bit of pressure on the brake lever. So it's not really safe. So plan B is to uh, take off this uh, metal piece and screw it on to the original Batavus uh, uh, brake cable. But I will leave this uh, cable end in place and I will also uh, keep this uh, barrel and hopefully then I can always go back to the original setup. Not sure if that will ever be needed but it might. 
I also looked into uh, swapping these levers, but they are uh, mounted in different ways. Um, this one is screwed, and the other one is just uh, peened over. Well, I finally got a setup that looks to be working. So I'm using the uh, Batavus cable with the uh, metal piece from the Altra bicycle, and here's that barrel from the uh, Batava setup and there's the cable end from the Batava setup and I installed an extra nut here safety first right um, I think this is going to work if not there might be an accident at some point there's no real need for a dynamo on this bicycle and the one on my uh, Altra transport bicycle is uh, broken this plastic piece is fucked up but this one is still okay so I have a uh, new location for this one and maybe I will uh, install a generator wheel on this bicycle somewhere in the future and can you see that there is something missing here so I just noticed that the wheel is not nicely in the middle of the fork. This looks better. But yeah, I got my doubts about this uh, fork. I never uh, have ridden this uh, Blue Ultra bicycle because, well, there was just too much wrong with it. So I scrapped it. Uh, the next day after I brought it home. I just removed the acorn nuts on both sides of the uh, axle and the uh, axle is not sitting at the uh, top of the uh, fork dropout and I cannot really force it to go to the top and it's the same thing on the other side Not sure what's wrong here. Maybe uh, the wheel is uh, stuck on uh, on the brake reaction arm, or maybe this is uh, just normal. I don't know, but it is weird. Let's find out if this gazelle mudguard can play nice with this Batavas bicycle. And as you can see, I just washed off all of the mud and did a little repair. Although, this here might be a problem. I can hear another one of those jumbo jets dropping by. Man, I wish they would close skip hole. Now I need to find some little bolts. Well, I managed to install the mudguard, but to be honest, I'm not uh, sure about uh, the looks. But I guess I will uh, judge the final result when I have installed the mudguard on the uh, on the rear wheel. Um, I might need to modify this bracket to uh, gain a little bit more clearance on the top here but for now with these uh, 28 millimeter tires it's fine there actually is a whole lot of clearance in the back but uh, these stays are not adjustable so there's nothing I can do about that but it should look better with a bigger tire now a tie wrap for the brake cable Oops. and I'm done for today you know I'm not totally happy about the picture I guess I could paint this uh, fork grey at some point just with a rattle can should be good enough I think now I should go for a test ride 
And here's one last look at the uh, Bedouwers bicycle before I go for a test ride. And next time I should have a, a look into that rear wheel. Because the sideways play or the play on the cones, it's getting a bit excessive. Well, let's go for a ride. The sun is still shining. Well, good evening. It's about 8 o'clock and I'm currently on a typical Dutch cycle path. There's not a whole lot to see here. I did some uh, brake testing, but I'm not going to repeat that while filming single-handedly and I must say the uh, fork didn't make a huge difference it still feels like it's being bent backwards when braking I'll try to demonstrate It's also squealing a bit. Looks like I need both my hands. The weather actually improved a lot during the day. The sun started to shine. And it got a whole lot warmer. Um yeah i think most of my work has been for nothing although the uh, replacement of the stem is a nice uh, improvement So I'm back on the uh, tarmac road. against the wind and against the sun but up ahead they are playing with uh, balloons you know the big ones well it's bumpy I can hardly see anything because the low sun is blinding me and probably also the camera. Two of them. We got a band coming up. Trying to break a bit. Oh. 
smells like my lawnmower. Yep. There's a bit of a gate here. It's like a chicane. Well, I'm still not happy about uh, the brakes on this uh, bicycle. Especially the rear one. Still sucks big time. Shit. Man, I don't see anything. I'll demonstrate this stupid bell. You see? I cannot ring the bell with my thumb. And now I'm trying my index finger. <laughs> yeah, with some difficulty. But no way I can ring this bell with my thumb. That one's just fine. This design totally sucks. Well, I made it back from my test ride. And this bicycle is still far from perfect. I guess there will be more videos to make. Well, I tried to demonstrate the uh, brakes on camera, but yeah, that's almost impossible for me. Um, this fork is no much better than uh, the original one. It, it feels like, well, it feels weak. Um, when you brake, it feels like uh, the wheel is being pulled backwards. And this, uh, this drum brake is also making squealing noises. But it might be a little bit better, easier to modulate. Uh, the biggest improvement that I did is that uh, other uh, stem. The uh, higher handlebar is uh, more comfortable for me. Especially since I like uh, the handlebar to uh, slope backwards. So... Um, there will not be a whole lot of uh, pressure on my wrist. But if you do that, you also need a higher uh, handlebar. There might be a little bit more stopping power in this uh, drum brake. Because the uh, rear of the bicycle is coming up when I apply the front brake. Of course I'm not sitting on the saddle at the moment. Um, I think I will uh, put the original uh, fork back. It is no better than uh, the original. It is just as bad. And I must say that I have a similar problem with my uh, Koga Miata uh, Country Tour bicycle from 1988. It also has a weak uh, front fork. But maybe this is uh, normal for drum brakes. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of experience with drum brakes. I have used plenty of other brakes, um, fee brakes, center pull brakes, coaster brakes, even disc brakes, but no, not a lot of uh, drum brakes. <laughs> 